Hey everybody, uh, Graham Bradshaw from IMI. Uh, just uh, giving you some tips on how you can boost your immunity. Obviously very topical at the moment. Look, the, the studies that I often um, use to, to kind of get really firm about what does work and what doesn't are the so-called Cochrane studies. And there's some good Cochrane studies on uh, vitamin D, also on probiotics. And it turns out, of all of the things that I've seen, they're the two that have the most effect at reducing the number of respiratory tract infections we can get. Today I'll talk about vitamin D. It turns out that um, more than 70% of us here in Hong Kong are deficient in vitamin D, the majority of us, because we spend so much time indoors and we don't get enough sunshine. Of course, uh, that's always worse in winter, so it would be a higher number during the winter months. It turns out that when you're shorter of vitamin D, you do get more respiratory tract infections been proven and it's also been proven that supplementing with vitamin D reduces your number of infections by half. It's 49% according to the Cochrane studies. So that's with daily supplementation. Um, the, the Cochrane studies don't uh, list what, they, what they've chosen as the average dose that have been given but we find that clinically we need to be giving one to two thousand IUs of vitamin D a day to have much impact on getting those blood levels up. Um, for adults, we usually suggest one that's a, a MedLab product, it's from Australia. The beauty of this product is that its um, particle size is very, very tiny and it's a spray and it goes straight into your blood, bypassing any complications you might have with absorbing in your gut. And it's the best one in terms of raising the blood levels nice and quickly. It's also with vitamin K, which is another topic, but vitamin K is best with vitamin D, so they're keeping that balance. Um, the other product we have, though, is for kiddies. It's a nice, easy one to just put a drop into uh, any food that they're having, like a cereal breakfast cereal or something like that. And it's a 1,000 I use as well, safe to use. Even in children, we often recommend a high dose in the 1,000 for the first week or two to get their blood levels up nice and quickly. But it is safe to use the 1,000 long-term with the kiddies um, over around two years old. Actually, for the children under, we do have other products here that are 400 IUs that are a little safer for the little, little kids for the um, up to the toddler stage. So, um, vitamin D. The other thing, apart from it uh, reducing the number of infections, those who are more weak with their lungs, such as asthmatics, have far less incidence uh, through, the, through the year when they're on vitamin D. It cuts that by half. Strangely enough, it always seems to be by half. And with um, COPD, which is a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, you know, one of the people who would be very worried about getting the coronavirus, for instance, would be somebody with COPD. They would be more likely to pass away. Well, what we do know with vitamin D, certainly we don't know yet about how it is with um, coronavirus, but it does reduce the um, severity of illness of, of respiratory tract infection for those with COPD quite significantly again so that they're about half as affected as they would be otherwise. That's well studied. So vitamin D protecting you from infection if you have weaker lungs uh, also reduces the severity of the problems you have. So good supplement and we strongly recommend you, you get your vitamin D levels up during these winter months. Thank you.